Hello, we are back. The title screen has changed. Eh? Things are different. I have become the boatmaster, and to celebrate that, we are now greeted with these swamp lands over here. Let me get my wrist positioning correct. Uh, a lot of folks had a lot of suggestions about things that could help with the uh, motion sickness and such. Thank you very much for that. I've you know, implemented some. Solidus have uh, implemented some of what you suggested as well. We've got some FOV um, reduction going on too. And you know what I decided to do? You might have seen this. You can see this over here. But I dusted something off a little bit. I dusted something off because you know what I realized? I never got a chance to really give it the fullest the fullest uh, uh, honest try. I dusted off this thing. So this is that keyboard, that partial keyboard bit that was made for FPS gaming. And I've had, I've had this sitting there the whole time. Uh, so I've got my mouse and my specific hand game keyboard thing together. It's, it's, it's still mouse and keyboard. It's still WASD. It's just uh, there's a little thumb button on it that is uh, so you got your WASD. You have your, you know, tighter ring of things so you can actually like I can still hit escape up here and all that. And that's all nice. Um, the main benefit, if anything, is that the little thumb D-pad over here. I can set to specific uh, weapon switches. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, that's not too bad if I'm getting cozy over here. So, uh, let's let see me. how this works. Yeah. So, all right. Let me just get get cozy, get okay. comfy. Uh, so I've got my yeah my my movement is all on this little clicky thing over here, and that's fine. Um, there's a jump button and a sprint button where the thumb and pinky rest kind of naturally, uh, and most importantly, there's nothing else there. <laughs> So, this jump button is on its own over here. This is the last corner. There's no mistake in that. It's just where my fingers are going to rest. So, uh, that's nice. Try that out for a little bit. Uh, use key where it should be. All of that's normal. And then, you can, yeah, you can hear how clicky it is, right? You can... It's, it's doing its thing. Um, the thumb is right over the D-pad on... Uh, the right side of it, and through that I can have a instant switch to whichever of the current weapons I have without even having to roll. I can just go straight to it. Crowbar. Machine gun. Pistols. Nades. And, uh, I got, and so I took it off of my mouse 4 and mouse 5, mm -hmm. so I can just actually get straight to the weapon I want without thinking about it. And that's nice. Um, I did out of curiosity, just, I took a look at what it's like when you turn off the, uh, fast weapon switch. Uh-huh. And, uh, it really is just a slower way to switch weapons, because, because here's what happens, right? You have to pick it from this menu. Yeah. And then confirm it. So or don't do the, confirm the it. the macro right away and then, like, blink it? Yeah. Which I guess if you're reaching to one, two, three, four, five on the keyboard is, you know, you can get used to just tap, tap and go. But um, yeah, I am not about that. So there's an option or, in the menu to make it auto confirm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what we. That's what I just. Yeah, that's what you. That's what on. I just did. I w I'm showing what it's like when yeah. that's not on. So all right, let me just reload so I don't waste my grenade there. Um, that's it. So yeah, we're trying this out. Seems cool. Seems like it'll uh, seems like it'll be cozy. Uh, advanced, fast weapon switch back on. Apply it, and we we're gonna keep our FOV. Um, yeah, no, I just got one guide, and I just <laughs> read what I saw. Yeah, at ninety. Okay. So, in addition to that, I believe uh, there was a... Uh, someone said that there's uh, um, somewhere right around this area, there's a secret 
area worth investigating. So I am curious to see if uh, we can catch that. All right, let's look for something. Yeah, there's um, there's a, apparently a pipe that we can jump into or something to that effect. A pipe, you say? Pad. That's where I parked. Oh, uh, look at three o'clock. What about that at the far end? Oh, Is way that... over yonder. I'm not sure, but that seems a little graded, high to right? jump into. Yeah, no, maybe not, huh? I mean, I don't think so. There's no ramp. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, unless. <laughs> okay, let's go investigate. Oh shit, it's open. I guess you might have to bring your, your boat closer and use it as leverage. Uh huh. No Ooh. kidding. Uh oh, it's bad water. It is bad water. Galunga? <laughs> Gallinger? We remember the free man. We are called Terminus. What does that word mean? There is no distance between us. No false veils of time or space may intervene. Coterminous. Having the same boundaries or extent in space, time, or meaning. Yourself. Say again? Having the same boundaries or extent in space, time, or meaning. Okay. Our cause seems hopeless. We see you still in Black Mesa. Clearly we see you in the Nailance Chamber. We bear witness to the bright eternity of the Nailance demise. You leap, you fall, we see you crash between the barriers. Yeah. I did that. For a brief time you joined us, you are one between the worlds. In that little town? Communion of the Vortessence and that other, a deeper mystery. No deeper than the void itself. Hmm. We have survived worse across the ages. We cannot forget those whose cords you cut. Forgiveness is not ours to bestow. Unity of purpose, the shattering of common shackles, a single road we tread. I mean, I was wondering, like... We shall prevail. Anyway, they've mastered the English language. <laughs> <laughs> End of thought. Your song we sing and shall sing for eternity, no matter the consequences of this struggle. All right. You have brought us grief and jubilation beyond measure. We are there still in observance of your final stroke. Damn. While our only scatters at your feet, you severed the vortical cord that bound the nailings to life and to us. Wow. That sharp spur of hope has not dulled to this day. For once, the lesser master lay defeated. 
we knew the greater must also fall in time. Okay, okay. They're really, really happy about what I did. <laughs> They're really, Our really excited. Describes it thus. <laughs> Kalun Kalamga. With you besides us, a talisman of victory, the day of freedom draws nigh. Your bright face obscures your darker mask. We call you Sib, although your mind and meaning are a mystery to us. Sib. Hmm. Far distant eyes look out through your. Oh. Oh, do they? Uh, I don't like that. Something secret steals us both. We shall not name it. We know the name. Or the letter. We have endured these chafing bonds for eons, yet a single moment of further servitude seems intolerable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear that. How often have we slipped our yoke only to find it choking us again? Yeah, no, we're in some sort of, like, again, human ghettos and birthing rights and all that appear to be the deal. We are Not still great. Here. Let this war end in either total victory or our. Jesus. Kingdom. No further compromise shall we allow. Oof, so we're at that point. We take our stand beside you here upon this miserable rock. The way ahead is dark for the moon, man. What seems to you a sacrifice is merely to us an oscillation. We do not fear the interval of darkness. We are a tapestry woven of vortescence. It is the same for you if only you would see. This is a sermon. We are listening to a sermon of Where religion. And to what end? Yeah. How many are there in you? Are you gonna join? Whose hopes and dreams do you? The Church of Me? <laughs> um. Uh, can I see the fine print? <laughs> I don't want to let anyone down here. Could you but see the eyes inside your own, the minds in your mind, you would see how much we share. We are you, free men, and you are us. Like, where's the little beatnik, uh, uh, djembe? We've lost all dear to us. The free man, the freest of men. <laughs> <laughs> Crowbar in hand. This is more than anyone can bear, but we will persevere. Mm -hmm. Our life is worthless unless spent on freedom. We have survived worse across the ages. Our cause seems hopeless. Our finest poet describes it thus. Galum gala gilimaha. Indeed, indeed. Well said. Let all the people say, Amen. Amen. This Free is man. more than anyone can bear. But we will persevere. We have lost all. All right. Good times, good stuff. That's it. That's all. Okay. Damn, your health went down fast. Bye bye. Oh, fatality. Don't do that. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh-huh. Were those, uh... I thought those were not the Healy-type boxes. I thought the boxes that were smaller are the ones. Eh? Oh, weird. Dead, um... Dead Hackman? His mother named him Gordon, but truly he gored on the flesh of our enemies. 
The free man. The freest of men. The man for new trends. Means to an end. <laughs> <laughs> we welcome you today, Brother Freeman. Uh, oh, hey, stop floating away. We speak not the name of he who is G. Uh, 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 all right. So that is a dead end over that way. Yeah, okay. So, let's say... Oh, there were head crabs here! Dead crabs. Dead crabs. True. Beans. So y'all eat beans. Alright. So yeah, you're gonna take damage coming this way no matter what. Mm -hmm. Suffer for knowledge. Suffer for your knowledge! Was it worth it? No. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. All right, well. I'm thinking about just loading the save up again. Um, that would be fair, yeah. But do you think there's a chance that the game is like, oh, oh you, you didn't met him. see the man before. You so. met him, therefore we're going to flag that in the... You know? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Okay, thank you. Shivers. Reasonable uh, possibility, you know? Yeah. If, if there's a part two. Uh, oh. This game must be full of, like, extra content like that on the sides, huh? I mean, I you know what I don't know? Given the time and era it's from... There could be secrets, but hey, there doesn't have to be. It's pretty old. You know? Old game has a couple secrets, but doesn't necessarily mean it's overwhelming, overflowing with them, you know? Alright. Where to now? No. -uh. Hmm. Do we have to climb around the building? Let me see something real quick. That would just. Uh. Are there specific controls for the mud skipper? Uh. No. Okay. All right. That's fine. I don't like how it inverts left and right on re on reverse. Mm. Um. So. So when you're going back and you hold right, it goes in which direction? Uh, when you're okay. So when you go back and you hold right, it does this. Oh, like a real car. Yes. Okay. The problem, I guess, is that if I start going back without holding back, it's it still does that. So if you bump a wall and you're st and you're just temporarily moving a oh, little backwards, okay. it inverts for those couple of seconds and then uninverts. Okay. Right. So, anyway, I know it's a driving thing. I'm, I'm aware of that. Just a uh, preference I would like, if possible. But it's it's not the end of the world. Um. So that bridge was over this way. Okay. Let's just huff it. Let's hope we don't need the boat anymore. Or if we do, we can pass around the building. This looks like a fairly strong barrier. Yeah. Or, like, were you able to climb around the building on the left side there? On that side? The yeah. far side? I was assuming we were just going to have to walk on foot in progress that way. 
Yeah, we can check it out. This all looks like extended swamp. Unless is this where the fight happened? No. Yes. This is where the fight happened. Yes. Yeah. So this is the and opposite we passed side. Through here. We went through here. And then we went, went inside. There. So. Okay. Uh, we can keep going and see what's up ahead. I guess. Yeah. Not to abandon the boat completely. Yeah. Oh, a ladder. If we don't need that boat, I won't cry. Uh huh. This one's broken, this one's open. Alright, we got one side. Do we even need both? Uh, Alright, so back out where the fight was. Over there. Uh huh. Boaty make boat face is back. Apparently the um, flashlight, sprint, and air are separate um, meters in future games, but for now they're all shared by Ox Power. Oh, yeah, that's so rough. If you want to breathe, uh, C, run, or listen to your music. It all uses the same source of energy. Turn into it. Just Strike line it up. one. Just line it up. <laughs> Just line it up. Line it up. <laughs> oh, that looks so hard. It's fine. Easy. <laughs> Big fly. And every loading screen. Like Mr. East, we made it. I have to re inject sick air, droplets. Gordon. Yellow lambda on the left. Theme. Fear the free man with a crowbar. Indeed. Resist business face. Turtleneck and jacket cannot be trusted. Mm -hmm. No door. This way. What? You've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? 
Is that you? Oh, that was the path? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Stoplight. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyde when they are at the top of their field. Oh, yeah? Ah, there we go. Would have been worth it to now. be there for that opportunity, huh? Never mind the back half of that. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> Oh, what's going on over there? Good to know you. We You'd better get going. Use the extra help around here. Dr. Mossman's we waiting for you. The last few months, but things will go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Calabial model. But they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Yeah, that's working and in, in the, in the science, that's what's important. Never mind the meat oh, gags yes. and the exploding people and things and slavery. ...far beyond anything he imagined a Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen hey. as an unexpressed axis. Effectively oh. a dimensional slingshot. Uh -huh. So we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. As the elevator is going down. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. Hey! The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resident Alex is dead. Gate. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, mm. anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Harvard graduate. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see Word. what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Yeah, I, I got it, lady. I got Feel it. Feel free to look around. Just keep it all on the fucking... The incredible discoveries and, and none of the horror. All good. Um, hey. We got a couple pals <laughs> working at the base here, I see. <laughs> Wonder what their stress level is like. Every time I see one of these types of prosthesis, I always think of like, yo, you could probably run extra fast. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> Those ones are so fucking nuts when you see like how quick you can go. Yep. And you're lighter and agile. Oh, Gordon. The Vortigon said you were here. Hey. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. Mm -hmm. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, bro. <laughs> Don't touch my daughter. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Hold if up. you touch my daughter, I'm gonna shove my hook up your ass. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like he's going the opposite direction, Reggie. You know? Yeah, he's nice to her. We're still not sure what that does. That sounded like he was trying to set it up. The strangest things. If anything, he can handle anything except you. You don't think he oh, would be oh, like oh, 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 oh. the kind of dad that's like, oh yes, my daughter, ha ha, I love you. Yes, those boys sure are cute. If you touch my daughter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choke you. Don't even look at her. <laughs> oh baby, your friend is very nice. Uh huh. <laughs> hey Garnet, where are we nice. going? Shakes. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, Get off that I ladder. should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. I thought we had to follow her up there. The capacity of the combine thyristor. You are not moving <laughs> are on you up. Blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. 
Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time uh -oh. as well as installing uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with Yeah, you? gravity gun. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sure. Give me that. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Let's go have some fun. The zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. Show me the Fizz X gun. Put the Havoc logo. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spent so much time outside. <laughs> She yeah. Drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa yeah. that day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. We missed some lore, did we? I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. Let's see. Can you turn it Ew, up a bit for the viewers? The, the volume. Gordon Freeman. Yep. Do it from in here. Oh, okay. Uh, max, max. God damn it. Ah, this sucks. Yesterday was too loud. So yeah, okay. It's got to be done on the system level. All right. Can so you do it from the? Next? Yeah, we'll do it from this, from the uh, the OBS level. Because this is anyway. YouTube is going to hear a different mix. Maybe we should come up with some hand signals <laughs> for that, like that, That's so okay. I don't uh, interrupt. No, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Let's try this out. Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. All right. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would That's take not down yet. to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates There's mom. are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Strings, quarks, the big book and of big text. <laughs> nice. Strings, corks, and what? And me. Aeronautical Robotics by William Wood. Uh, that's just... That's just Japanese. Uh -huh. Lost Colors? Maybe? Lost, lost some books. Maybe. Lost books? Oh, Gordon! The Vortigon said you were here. Earth surrenders. So quickly on foot. I believe he broke your Portal record. storm continues. Well, he earned it. Seven hour war so ends in combine victory. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. With the Earth surrenders. William Breen declared interim <laughs> administrator. Black Mesa admin charged with Human Affairs Bureau. Charged with Human Affairs Bureau. Take a look at this, Gordon. Yeah. Uh, that was quick. <laughs> Seven hours. Uh-huh. You tried. Between fucking breakfast and dinner. <laughs> shit was done. Some people slept through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. business now. He ended the seven hours war by managing Earth's surrender. Mm -hmm. The Combine rewarded him with power. Mm hmm He led the surrender, and that's why he got the position. Mm. I don't understand this sentence. Black I Mesa's admin mean. has been charged with Human Affairs Bureau. Is Human Affairs Bureau a crime? Like taking care of the Human Affairs Bureau, maybe? Charged with taking care of them. Yes, 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 yes. That Alex, makes sense. Right. I you on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Right. Anyway, As in the British way of saying it. I have the repair as well. Oh, I wouldn't know. Someone misjudged the capacity of the It is my third language after all. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No. 
Not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero point Man. field manipulator is not. Remember the these? Ugh, let's get out of here. Yeah. God. Wow, it's got room for two? I can put a CD and a burner? And a DVD? That's crazy. Fucking towers, dude. <laughs> See you in a little while, Gordon. And a floppy slot. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Where's my turbo button? For my Pentium power. What the fuck? You didn't have a turbo button with Pentium power? No. Oh, you were missing out. <laughs> it was, uh... Not quite overclocking, but you saw the number on the, on the tower go faster. The Eli Vance was our first collaborator. Ah. The Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. He was first. Go ahead, Gordon. We'll catch up with you later. Eli Vance almost perceives the all-in-one. The all-in-one. The Eli Vance has earned our trust. We are pleased that the Eli Vance thinks so highly of the Freeman. The Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. All right. Go with Alex, Gordon. She'll look after you. The Galungas are super down with you, sir. Mad respect. I think we saw the lore here, and we spoke to Galunger. The Eli Vance yes. has earned a trust. Vort de Vort. We'll talk later. And uh, do we have to interact with this? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Picture. Picture of Vortigaunt. Wall stuff. Right? Cool. Okay. And not yet. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. Nah, she sucks. You're right. Can't be trusted. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. Ravenholm? Don't go there anymore. That's a fantasy-ass setting name. Come on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Contaminated area, huh? So it seems. Yeah, Mossman is that per is that scientist level that is like more experiments on the living subjects because in the end it'll it'll be for the best. We'll know the science is worth the the cost type shit. I'm getting those hard vibes. So immediately like mm, should have been me. Okie doke. Let's see you deal with a queen head crab and 15 fucking so, death demon, whatever those things guy. were. Flavia paint. Scrapyard. Uh huh. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. Uh huh. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary 
trigger lets you grab oh, nice. It's on primary. The primary. Okay. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. And that's why the portal gun looks the way it does. Oh. Right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You can also there you pull go. Stuff over from a distance. I see. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. Whoa, from that far away. Okay. Is this free? See if you can stack some free physics to toy? Up. Put it down gently. Okay. Uh huh. Shenanigans afoot. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again. Not through a barrier like a fence, though. Okay, we have the force. Yeah, okay, we have the force. Um. Come on, Gordon. Build a stack and get up here. Hey, relax, okay? This feels like, uh. Yeah. There's a lot to, a lot to exploit here. Oh boy, we're gonna jank our way to some bullshit, man. You can place objects by moving them into position and hitting the secondary trigger again. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, alright. Try stacking some things. Grab something there with you your go. secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. Do you consider this a stack? Come on, Gordon. Build a stack and get up here. Alright, let's just jump on it. Alright. Oh yeah, I was wondering about crouch jumping. Yeah, people are talking about that tech. So um, are you supposed to In the to first game there was crouch jumping and I guess it was mandatory for some parts but now it's no longer a mandatory thing but it still exists. There's a crouch and then there's a jump and then there's a jump crouch and then there's a uh, 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 I don't know if I have to do one or the other first. Beware of dog. So it's crouch after jump. I guess so that you can clear like your legs over Things, I guess. Seems like it's speed running tech. Uh, so I'm not. Mm, unless I, we. Need I don't it. know about speed running. They use it in a lot of games. Even in like Halo, you could do that. Well, the universe is saying that crouch jumping in this case is for speed running. No. Only for speed running. Or that the. Okay, I, re I, I someone said crouch jumping was uh, needed in the first game, but not needed in the second game. Oh, okay. So, uh, what does it do? It lifts your legs up so that you can, like, clear mm -hmm. jumps. Like, you know when um, you're putting the cinder blocks? And I was jumping over, yeah. Yeah, then you could have, like, had an easier time jumping and then lifting your legs. That way your legs don't hit the side of the thing, you like, you know. Sure. You know. I know in some games, like uh, like I mentioned Halo, you could like use the terrain and land on like a slant and mm -hmm. crouch jump off of it to like propel yourself forward mm -hmm. and use the momentum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm barely walking one foot in front of the other. Dog. You go, baby. So, we dog. can we can think about dog. that another time. <laughs> Is he trained? Hello, dog. Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. <sighs> okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. See, you're only... Go ahead, Dog. Throw! Dog-like because we decided that. You could be on upright 
and having civil conversation very easily. Uh, 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 you should catch that. Oh, boy! <laughs>